The rifts within the coalition in Karnataka between the Congress and the JDS are getting bigger after former Prime Minister H.D. Devagoda of the JDS accused Congress's Siddharamaya of causing the coalition government to fall. Siddharamaya has hit back, blaming Gowda and his family, including former Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy. The coalition, which took power in Karnataka in May 2018, collapsed and lost a trust vote last month after several coalition MLAs quit, paving way for the BGP to form the government. Devagoda pulled down Mumai's government and he is responsible and Kumar Swami, both of them are responsible for BJP getting power in Karnataka. This comes even as there were signs of dissent in BJP ranks after Karnataka cabinet formation with resentment among BJP MLAs who could not make the cut. Let's uh, go across to Maya Sharma for more on this. Maya, give us the details of this possible resentment within the BJP. Well, of course, the cabinet expansion happened after three weeks, more than three weeks after BS Yadiyarapa took over as Chief Minister of Karnataka. Quite a delay, leading to, of course, lots of criticism from both the Congress and the JDS, attacking the BJP on that front, saying, why this delay? But 18 berths have been filled, if you include BSC at Europa now, 16 still empty. But ministers who, hopeful ministers who did not get chosen in this first list, have already started talking publicly about their disappointment. Their supporters have been pointing out regional disparities, saying that their caste should be represented. And BSC at Europa is, in fact, he went to Delhi in order to meet his high command once again to perhaps talk about this issue. Because it's not just a question, actually, of keeping the disappointed BJP MLAs happy. There's also the question of the rebel Congress and JD MLAs who have been disqualified. They were disqualified because they helped to bring down that coalition government and the Speaker decided to disqualify them. They cannot face elections until this assembly term is over. But they want cabinet births as well. In fact, they may even have been promised cabinet births by the BJP for their role in bringing down the coalition government. So they also have to be accommodated. So you have the disqualified rebels a little bit nervous and you have the other BJP MLAs a little bit nervous that they may not make it to the next 16. Some of the disqualified MLAs are also in Delhi as well, along with the Europa. They are, have approached the Supreme Court. Their case is in the Supreme Court. They want their disqualification overturned. Once it is, if it is, they may get those ministerial births. Otherwise, they'll have to wait till 2023 before they can actually face elections once again.